Hello Year 3 and welcome back to part 2 of The Truth Pixie. So the last thing we read is The Truth Pixie bumped into a huge giant. He asked her to tell him the truth and she did. So let's see what happens. I suppose you're still going to eat me. The Truth Pixie closes her eyes and waits to be lunch. The troll opens wide and is ready to munch. I be mad and I be cross. I need to show you who be the boss. I should eat you up. I really should. But you'll taste like the truth and that be no good. So the giant troll gets ready to throw and into the air. The truth pixie does go. Meow. She flies over fields and over mountains. She flies over palaces and pretty fountains. She flies over horses eating hay. One looks up at the sky and shouts, Nay! She spins and twists and rolls through the air as Marta grips onto her fast-blowing hair. She's thrown so far by that troll who is stinky that she arrives in a town now known as Helsinki. She drops through a window on the edge of town and sees a human in a dressing gown. The girl on the bed hugs a pillow patterned with foxes. She sits and cries in a room full of boxes. Who are you? says the girl. And what are you doing? The truth pixie sighs. Oh, is more trouble brewing? I'm the truth pixie and I was hoping you'd ignore me because I can't sing songs and I can't tell a story. Just as cats go meow and cows go moo, the truth pixie can only say things that are true. Far away is the home where I belong. I got thrown by a troll who found the truth too strong. I've upset two elves and a rabbit who hops. I hate this truth. It just never stops. I'm the most miserable thing you ever did see. I upset people just by being me. The girl smiles softly. I know the feeling. She looks sadly up to the ceiling. My name is Ada. It has three A's. We're moving house in just two days. The truth pixie feels bad. She can see the girl's truth. This is nearly her last night under this roof. There are other things too that the pixie can see. Ada's hundred worries about what will be. You are the truth pixie. Tell me how this ends. Can I stay in this town with all of my friends? Will my father keep his job? Will my gran get better? Was the doctor lying in his scary letter? The truth pixie hears this and knows she can't leave. She must answer with truth, but make her believe. Listen, Ada, I know it's a blow. The answer to your questions, she says, is no. Ada goes pale. Ada can't speak. Ada feels scared and a little bit weak. The truth pixie knows she's made this day worse. She hates the truth. She hates her curse. She watches Ada get sadder and sadder, as if stuck down a hole without a ladder. Then the pixie wonders if she can find a ladder of words for Ada to climb. Listen, Ada, I have something to say. The truth can be hard. That is its way. You will have to move house as your dad has no money. You will have to lose friends. And that isn't funny. There will be people you love who can't stay forever. And there will be things you can't fix, although you are clever. But listen hard and listen good. Life might not go as it should, but you are young and your life will be magic. It will be happy and funny and sometimes tragic. Don't forget who you are. You are a fighter as the dark in the sky makes the stars shine brighter. You will find the bad stuff has good bits too. The bad days are the days that make you you. You can't always see goodness, but it's always there, just like the mouse who hides in my hair. If everything was perfect every single day, you'd never know the good from the just about okay. The truth is your future will often be great. It's bad now you're seven, but wait till you're eight. You will make new friends as good as the old. Friends will warm your heart against the cold. 
the house you will move to will be smaller than here, but you'll be so happy there this time next year. The best things in life are yet to come. You'll read great books and you'll have great fun. You'll have a pet cat. You'll name after your gran. Cat, worries Marta. It's time I ran. The rest of your life is full of good stuff. You'll travel the seas, both calm and rough. It's up to you wherever you go. The sun of the desert, the cold of the snow. You'll eat ice cream, tasting of strawberry and rose. You'll feel happiness from your head to your toes. You'll love your pet cat and she'll enjoy a cuddle. And you'll dance and sing and splash in a puddle. You'll have fun at Christmas and Easter too. In summer, you'll sometimes go to the zoo. You'll laugh at bad jokes and fall off a chair. Feel the sun on your face and the wind in your hair. You see, your life is like a voice. How you use it is really your choice. You can live life as a mumble or sing it clear, but it will be often special. You'll be glad to hear. You'll have so many moments, whole years full of fun that will be there just waiting once these sad peas are done. Sure, life isn't always one big smile, but things turn out fine when you wait a while. Yes, the night has dark bits, but it has stars too. And you'll feel they shine, that they shine just for you. You will step outside and see from the park that the light is brighter when it's next to the dark. You'll have so many great times ahead and soft, happy dreams from inside your bed. The future is changing. A life is a mix. A life made of hope like a house is of bricks. And tonight, right now, you feel very sad but the rest of your life won't be so bad. Ada listened and Ada heard. Ada hung on every word. Ada knows the truth, Pixie is right. The present is dark, but the future is bright. Thank you, Truth Pixie. You've made things clear. I will cry today, but I won't cry all year. It's all a bit weird and a little bit mad, but you'll never know happy unless you know sad. The truth, Pixie, starts to feel a bit pleased. Ada gives Marta some very fine cheese. The Pixie sighs, oh, I guess I should go. The girl thinks hard and then says, no. The far north, says the Pixie, is where I belong. But even as she says it, she feels it's wrong. Ada stands up and looks very serious. Listen, she says, it's not so mysterious. You've just said that life is what we choose. If you stay with me, you've got nothing to lose. The truth Pixie thinks. The truth Pixie ponders. The truth Pixie blinks. The truth Pixie wonders. With you? Are you sure? But what about your dad? Dad talks about Pixies when he thinks I'm sad. He won't mind. He likes my friends. Really? says the pixie and her heart starts to mend but but what about marta when you get your new cat hmm yeah we'll have to think about that maybe i'll get a dog instead the future keeps changing that's what you said the truth pixie smiles from ear to ear her first actual smile in over a year thank you ada thanks for being you thanks for making me glad to be true and Ada smiles back and looks out at the sky. The pixie is proud that she never did lie. Ada's father walks in and sees the creature there with its big bright eyes and a mouse in its hair. Then he sees something stranger that he couldn't replace, a smile on his daughter's once sad face. Oh, pixie, he says, thank you a lot. Ada wanted a smile and now that's what she's got. You must stay with us if you've got no better plan. Join us for supper. There's soup in the pan. Oh, thank you, says Teepee. You're so very kind. Can my mouse join us too, if you really don't mind? Ada laughs and her father laughs too. And the truth pixie laughs and the laugh feels new. The pixie still lives there to this day. Her truth no longer needs to hide away. That's the power of a loving friend. And here's the part where we say... The end. Bye-bye.